everyone, my name is Julie. Thank you so much for watching and let's talk trash, aka it's empties time! Whoop, 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 whoop. I'm gonna show you everything that I've used up this month and I am filming a little bit early because my tiny basket was overflowing and so it's time to say goodbye to some of these things. But I'm really excited. You'll see numbers going on down here because I have a goal to finish up more products than I purchased this year and cross your fingers that it's going well. Last month I was about $100 apart, which is really, really good, and hopefully this month didn't tempt me too much. We shall see in about a week, shall we? <laughs> but let's dive into the trash because I actually have a surprising amount of empties, mostly skincare because I'm doing that masking challenge, so let's start there. And I do have the Sephora Green Tea Sleeping Mask. This was a jelly style mask. Uh, this was not my favorite. I felt like it moisturized my skin for about half a day. Like I'd put this on at night, wake up in the morning, feel like my skin was moisturized, but then about halfway through the day I'd feel like it's not, it's gone, it's disappeared. So I think that these are fine. I think you have to pick the ones right for your skin. This one's mattifying and anti-blemish. I broke out more with this one than any other time. <laughs> So if you saw my masking video, you'll know that I had like breakouts here. I've got a breakout here right now. I actually had one down here as well. I I realize it's the it's like summer amazingness right now. I totally get it. But like if this says anti blemish and I broke out more with this one than any of the other ones, I don't think this one's for me. <laughs> I also used up the Sephora Avocado Sleeping Mask Nourishing and Repairing. This one I liked a whole lot more. This is more like your standard lotion that was tinted green. They say these are one-time use masks. Both of these I got, you know, four days out of, to be completely honest with you. I don't think that you should really put that much <laughs> mask on your face. But I think if you're traveling, maybe this would be something nice. You can throw this in your bag really easily. It's small, it's compact. I don't know. The problem is, like, you have to be in the same hotel for four days. And the way I travel doesn't really seem to work out like that. I tend to move a lot more. But nevertheless, I do also have so much Sephora stuff. <laughs> I've got the Sephora Algae Eye Mask. This one was fine. I don't know. Eye masks. This one was like really big. It like went all the way out. So I thought this was fine. It was nothing special in my opinion. I've got the Sephora Avocado Hand Mask. Uh, really good job moisturizing my hands. My hands just sweated while using it, which isn't my favorite feeling in the world. <laughs> I once again hated the <laughs> nourishing lip mask. I thought this was dreadful. I don't know what's up with lip masks. If someone, if I'm doing this wrong, please let me know. <laughs> like, if you are a lip mask expert, let me know how you're supposed to use these. Because I put these on and, like, they just, no. And that one was pink jelly and it kept, like, shredding. Not my thing. This is the Cucumber Collagen Essence Mask from The Cure, maybe. It is a Korean brand. Again, sheet masks I think feel great. I just don't go out of my way to purchase them anymore, but I think that they feel great. And I do actually like using them. I'll probably always have sheet masks in my collection, just so I can like sit back and not move for a while. I just don't know if they're like long lasting. Got no idea. <laughs> Continuing on with skincare-esque things, my cleansing makeup wipes for this month, I actually use my Douglas ones. Um, these are the Douglas Essential Cleansing Makeup Remover wipes for face and eyes with corn flower extract. I thought these were really nice actually. These did a really good job pulling um, makeup off my face for cleansing wipes. You know, you always you know that these aren't always 100%, but I thought this one did really well. I like the way that the cloth felt on my face. It was nice and smooth. It wasn't like rough in texture, but I felt like it did a good job removing, especially eye makeup. I thought this one did a good job. I don't know if I could purchase this or not. It depends. If in Douglas is like a sale going on, if I just need makeup wipes, Douglas is a really easy brand for me to get my hands on here in Germany. So I don't know. I liked it enough. I probably I might be purchased it. I probably would if I had to. <laughs> um, this is my Beauty Counter Nourishing Cream Exfoliator. I did a whole video when I lived in Tacoma, Washington, about Beauty Counter, and I really love what this company stands for. This is the full size. This is four fluid ounces. This took me. A long time to go through because a little bit goes a long way with this guy I um, mean it has those little beads in it I really like it I thought it did a good job I won't repurchase it because of the price but I love what the company stands for my last body ish thing I do have a body wash in here this is a sensual kiss by Ulta this has 
Amber and Wood Scent Moisture Rich Body Wash with Shea Butter, Aloe, Vitamins A, C, and E. Um, I think this is your standard body wash. I don't think it's amazing. I think it smelled really nice, but I don't think it was like any different from any other body wash I've ever used. <laughs> um, it foams nicely. It feel, I feel like it cleans my body without stripping it, but it's just a body wash. I got this one for free for working at Ulta like five years ago. I think I picked that up. <laughs> and it's just, I, just finally time to use it. Um, let's go through hair product real fast and then we'll get to the makeup because I actually do have some makeup empties. Oh, yay! <laughs> um, I do have the Moroccan Oil Dry Shampoo Dark Tones. I do like this dry shampoo. I think this does a good job. I like the fact it is dark. I never had any sort of white residue in my hair. I'm not in love with the scent. I know a lot of people love it. I think it's just, uh, I don't know. I thought it smelled good. I just don't think it was amazing. I think I was expecting to be like, wow, and it's like fragrance, but it's not like fragrance for me. Um, it's not as good as a perfume would be, but I do like this. I just think it's expensive, but I do like it. I also have the Herbal Essences Bio Renew Naked Volume White Grapefruit and Mosa Mint Shampoo. Again, I finished up like the aerosol conditioner of this a while ago. I think it's fine. I don't think Herbal Essences is a brand I'm going to invest too much in because SLS and both SLSs are like the first three ingredients. Two of them are not that great for you or your hair, um, but I used it up. My husband used it up. It's just a standard shampoo for us, and I'm glad that I don't have to worry about it anymore. <laughs> I have one nail empty. This is the Naked Manicure uh, Glossy Seal by Zoya. I just did my, my film the same day. <laughs> <laughs> my nail polish video for my project polish and this isn't empty. You'll see I do have a smidge at the bottom there, but I can't get it out of the bottle. Um, I don't like turning it upside down because I find that it gets gloopy that way, but I did one hand with the top coat on it and one hand without because I just ran out, but I feel like I got my money's worth out of that a little bit. Maybe if I dumped it I could have finished the other hand, but definitely not more than that. But I'm pleased that this one is gone. And I would repurchase that one. I sometimes get them for free with my Zoya purchases. Or what I'll do is I'll wait to get a sale from Ulta. Because they do like buy one get one or buy one get one half off a lot at Ulta. And there are sales Zoya there. Alright, let's talk makeup, shall we? Now two of these are not going to be a surprise for you because of my lip empties. <laughs> my, uh, my project mini lips. They won't be a surprise to you, but I'm so excited. I've got two more empties. I have Sugar Petal Fresh. So this is the fresh lip balm in the shade Petal. And this one is all gone. Look at that. Ah, oh, sexy. Yes, I love it. Thank you. <laughs> I'm really excited I finished that one up. I also finished, finally up, my Bite Beauty Gloss in Papaya. And at the end it got kind of gross in there. It got like... I don't know what it is. Is it like lip? <laughs> is it like lip skin that gets in there? Like why does it get gritty at the end? I don't know. But I did pull the stopper on this to get more out. And so I probably used it, you know, five more times to get that the rim, top rim done. But I'm excited that this one is empty. Yay, I'm so excited about that. Uh, I also have two empties of mascaras. Yay, mascaras. Um, if you watch my collections videos, you, you saw that I said I was going to finish them in a week. And I did. <laughs> I actually think I might have used them four more days. And I was like, you know, it really is done. This is the Lash Accelerator by Rimmel London. Hands down, I'd repurchase this one. I think this is a fantastic mascara. Um, I don't know that it actually has Lash Grow Complex in it, but it made my lashes look sky high, and I loved that. Um, so I'd definitely be looking out for this one again. And then I have my CoverGirl, the Super Sizer. I do love this mascara as well. It's really hard for me to get CoverGirl here in Europe, uh, but when I go back to the States for Christmas, I may pick this one up, or the Rimmel one. I might admit the Rimmel one's beating the Super Sizer by like this much. <laughs> <laughs> I just like the brush a little bit better. The Super Sizer, you do have to work with the brush. You know, it's like that flat paddle brush. So you just got to work with it a little bit to turn it. But it, I just, I don't know. I just really like both mascaras. I was super excited that I was able to use two of them up. But like, I liked both of them. Like, that's really nice to like the mascaras you're using. Because sometimes I feel like I'm using a mascara and I hate it. 
my last empty is probably my most exciting empty. I saved it to the very end here because I finally finished my DKNY fragrance. Yeah. Boop, 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 boop. This was 1.7 fluid ounces, and as you guys know, it was my goal for the year to use up at least one perfume that was greater than an ounce. So I finally did it. DKNY, the original, be delicious at 1.7 ounces. Yes. <laughs> There you go, those are my empties. So let's go through totals real fast. This is the total for the month of August. And this is the total that I've used up for the entire year of 2019, which I'm super excited about. And then my last number here is the difference. So if you see a negative, that's good. You want a negative. This is how much more I have used up than I have spent this year. Now this number does not include what I spent in August, so just keep that in mind. You have to wait for my makeup rehab to get that final number. But I really do appreciate your time. I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day. And wish me bonjour. I'm heading to France <laughs> to do a little trip in the French Riviera. So I will be hopefully a lot tanner when you see me come back. You will not know that there's a gap in the videos because I'm pre-filming a little bit. That's why I'm filming my nail polish on the same day as empties. <laughs> but I do hope that you have a wonderful day. I'll talk to you later. Bye.